some lovely reticles on there. I did. Oh, hold on. Well, welcome back, guys. And coming up in this episode, I'm back over in the shed again. Great. I'm there with my ticker 243. On top of it is the Hike Micro Stella SQ50. And the reason I've gone out on the spur of the moment is because Hike have finally released their new firmware updates, as promised. So I've updated all my kit, and I'm really keen to see if they've done any of the modifications I suggested some months ago in an email. Let's have a look. You won't need a coat tonight, it's 12 degrees, it's quite warm. I think the foxes are gonna be feeling frisky. Let's get out there and see if we can catch them in the act. Bring along a cup, I'll make you a coffee. Let's go and see what happens this evening. Well, good evening from the shed. It's now 25 past nine, and uh, I've just come out on the spur of the moment, really. Primarily because the new firmware update for the Hike Micro products came out today, so I've upgraded my Griffin and I've also upgraded the Stella, so I'm just really keen to see how good those upgrades are and if they've done uh, some of the things that I suggested in an email to the Hike Micro team. Now, as I was walking around here, um, around the corner of the silage stack, I looked across with the Griffin and just around the edge of this shed there was a fox. So he's gone off, he didn't really go off fast as if he was scared, but he's just gone off behind where the, um, where the duck and the goose pond is. So he's probably sniffing around there, see if he can get lucky with a goose or something. So call us out. Um, I've not even opened the door yet, so I want to get as much done in here before I open the door. And then I'm just really going to sit still for about half an hour, and I might occasionally just put the Vixen bark on two or three times and then switch it off, nothing else. I'm just going to see what happens rather than keep putting loads of different calls on. So that's the plan for tonight. Um, and also to test out the new upgrades on the scope. So I'll see you later on. Uh, so this chap, oh, I've got a rat sound going called Coaxer. Just going to have a dump there by the looks like that. See what the new zoom facility is like on that. So that's good. So if only the thing zooms up now is that close-up picture. I think he's having a dump. I sent a message to Robin earlier on to say I was out to try out the new Stella with its um, updates and I've put a different reticle on. I've gone for the little dot because it's quite a nice bold dot and quite easy to see. And of course Robin, me and Robin, put some doubt in my mind and he said, are you sure it's going to hold zero? So well, the only way to find out is to try it out. And uh, as you can see there, that dot has certainly held zero. So. I'm going to have a look around just, and then we'll go and pick him up. But really pleased with that and that zoom, just zooming up that main picture. That's exactly as I said to them what they need to do. Leave the whole picture open and just zoom up on that picture and picture. So the, the thing you're looking at. Well done, boys. Good job. Oh, 
a nice bit of ice shine there, there's no doubt about that. Being a little foxy. There's a little foxy as well. Cute little thing. I'm going to say that's a vixen without even looking. Yes, it is. And she's just had a dump somewhere around there as well. So, so I'm not going to turn it over because that's going to have a massive hole in there. It's a nice little thing. And again, a bit like that. Oh dear. A bit like that dog the other night. Um, fur's in great condition. Um, they are some really hardy creatures to live out in this conditions we have here so uh, that's one down I have seen another one when I was first walking to the shed he was over to the right hand side so um, I was hopeful that was going to be it but it looked a lot bigger than this one right back we go and then we'll put the kettle on as a little celebration so I just range find the shed from where the fox was and the X is where I'd seen that fox when I arrived this evening. So 133 back to the shed, so happy with that. I have a quick look around because mating season there could be something following on close behind with the vixens in heat. So checking in the usual sort of places where they come in, nothing there. So the score so far is fox is nil, hike micro one. Caller I've got going is called Coaxer. Um, I'll show a photograph of what that is. And it's just on volume level three, so barely audible from where I am. Obviously, foxes' ears, like dogs, are a million times better than ours. So. The wind at the moment is going from me towards the caller and slightly diagonal off from right to left. And it's quite strong, it's blowing the shed quite a bit. So if you have got a Stella, Griffin, or in fact I think all of the uh, Hoik micro products, there are firmware updates um, on the Hoik micro website. Um, now I have problems doing the Stella, it would not upgrade from the phone. So I had to do it via the laptop and hardwire it. So if I can work it out to do it, I'm blooming sure anybody else can because computers are not my thing. And there's some lovely reticles on there. I did. Oh, hold on. Oh, that zooms up lovely. Oh, he's just sitting there, lovely. Right, so if I zoom that right out. There we go. So what you see what I mean with the picture in picture. So only the picture in picture zooms up. So we can go like that. Put one straight in his chest. Just like that and then zoom back out. And the nice thing about that, if you were doing rabbit shooting, that's covering probably a 20 yard portion of hedge so you can see up that way quite clearly down there same with rats if you're shooting rats you can have your main focus on that picture in picture and then keep an eye on the next shot a bit like a snooker player plays about sort of five or six shots in front so i've done the red so that's obviously the black right, i'll go and pick him up so that one's probably only about 90 yards from here. It's not going to be a massive difference because that hedgerow is about 50 yards from here. Here's the thing with these um, hike products now. You get a warning when they're going to uh, recalibrate. 91 yards. That wasn't a bad guess, was it? I might have been here before. Right, let's go and switch this off. Our farmer's going to be happy tonight. Put that off. And the other, the other thing on these products now, I don't know if, you, if you've noticed, if you're going to go to press the record button and you accidentally press the power button, it shuts down and you can't do anything about it. They've now 
uh, put into that update that you can reset it, you can just press it and accidentally, uh, if you switch the, the power button off, it gives you a countdown, just press it again and it comes back on again. So once again, if, as I said to you before, if you've got problems or you think these products could be better with with a modification, then write to them. They will listen to you. And as we proved just then, there was a list of things that I sent off. Um, and I'm just a normal jar on the street or I work in a gun shop, but they didn't have to listen to me. They, they chose, they read the email, they forwarded it on to the managing director um, and he told them to get on with it. So a big thank you to Ewan, who is the technical director in China, um, for keeping in touch with me and letting me know when this firmware update was coming out. So well done to those guys. And uh, they are apparently going to be at the British Shooting Show. So pop over to the um, Hike Micro stand and... Uh, Meet the boys and have a look at the gear, it's well worth it. Right, so another look before I go out, just in case there's something else mooching around. Now where that one is, that's that's better, that's where I thought I was going to see the first fox and one I scared off when I was approaching the ship this afternoon or this evening. There's a big ditch that runs along there. I think she came out of that. There's a few rabbits, obviously, that loiter around in there. So, it's a big of them. I reckon it's going to be another vixen. Nice one. And I think one for my friend to practice taxidermy on because there's no explosion marks on her say her i'm going for a vixen it's not it's a dog oh that is a surprise i would have had that down i would have had that as a vixen any day the size of it right 91 yards back to the shed so pick him up Take him back with his little friend. Well, the score's not looking good now as Hike Micro 2 foxes nil. Well, that's now quarter to one. Um, I've been here since about half past nine, got set up, I suppose, well, quarter to ten time, um, a little bit later than normal. But that's been the sort of a witching hour, it's ten o'clock. Um, I've found in the last sort of ten days I've been coming here, so. Uh, more than happy with that tally. Uh, I'll have to count them up at home. I can't remember how many I've shot now, but i um, had some very good productive evenings. Uh, I hadn't really planned to come out tonight. The only reason I came was to uh, test the new firmware updates on the height micro range. So uh, the Griffin that I've got has, has some modifications on that, uh, which are noticeable when you use it. And the best, the best bit by all is the uh, the different reticles um, and the fact now on the Stella. Uh, one of the things I've mentioned in an email to back to Height Micro was why does the picture in picture and the main picture both zoom up at the same time? So you really just have the picture in picture zoom up and leave the rest of the what I call the rest of the world um, on view on the rest of the screen. And the guys back at Height Micro have done that, and it's absolutely brilliant now. There's some nice reticles, big bold reticles that are easy to see. Um, black reticles on on this that, that um, I've chosen tonight, a different reticle, and it's absolutely brilliant. I spoke to Robin earlier, and he said about um, changing the reticle, will it hold zero? Well, there's two foxes that can say it does, so I'm quite happy with that. So big thank you to the Height Micro team, you and, and your boys over there, you've done a great job. And I uh, look forward to seeing you at the um, the British Shooting Show, because I understand they're going to be coming over here from China for that. So it'd be great to see them and have a cup of coffee with them. So bro, I'm now going to pack up, otherwise I should be ending up opening this pot of porridge and still be here for breakfast. So stuff to do tomorrow I'm going to the equestrian centre tomorrow to have a look around and put a squirrel feeder up and uh, see if we can get sorted out on the rats there and the rabbits so thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video um, I'll put some bits and pieces on there the calls that I've been using uh, so I don't think it's right to keep it those things a secret it's a bit like fly fishermen that won't tell you what fly they're catching the fish on 
it makes no difference for me to, to let people know what calls I'm using. And if it helps somebody out, then that's the best thing. So as I said, one last scan around, because you never know. All the rabbits are out along the hedgerow, so I would think now that most of the predators that are going to affect those rabbits uh, are long gone. So they're out happily grazing on the grass. So we'll call it a day at that. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you again on another film soon. Cheerio. Well, my mate John said, ah, oh, that's nice, they're having a cuddle. Well, they certainly are. Thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, please click on that subscribe and the notification bell. It's absolutely free. It's not going to cost you a penny. I look forward to seeing you at the British Shooting Show in a couple of weeks' time. Cheerio!